Hi my loves, this is Raven from Raven's Reviews and we are back, back, back again with an amazing tutorial. Now this ain't just a tutorial, it's a hack. Now have you ever had issue picking up your caviar beads? Well have no fear, cause Melody Susie's dotting tool works perfect with the static cling energy of these caviar beads and picks everything up to perfection. You do not have to worry about covering your tool in rhinestone glues and gel. Nay, nay. You simply have to dip this dotting tool in and it does all of the hard work. Now I'm using Melody Susie's rhinestone glue which I am to the moon over. Now this rhinestone glue is so sticky and viscous. And though you might think, well, why is this a good thing? Oh, it's a very good thing. It holds your gems like Spider-Man glue or something. Like it is out of this world. And I was able to do this entire design using their glue and their dotting tool and I never cured in between steps. So I placed all of that bling and caviar beads into a wet nail. Now the reason for this was I wanted to secure everything and then be able to wipe off any excess glue that we didn't need so that we could seal in this bling to perfection. And the end results, as you saw earlier, were chef's kiss. Now, the reason I referenced Spider-Man in the beginning is I could not get over some products. Stickiness is a very bad thing. You don't want it. But with this, the way it grips onto the bling, I felt like I had like a personal assistant working, literally holding these in place so that my vision could come to life. I am so in love with this rhinestone glue. And I am used to having my gems fall all over the place. So this also means you can use larger charms, kawaii, all sorts of goodies and not worry that as you're trying to put it in its perfect place that it's going to literally run away on you. So I am so impressed with this rhinestone glue. But more than anything, this dotting tool hack had me placing down these caviar beans like a champion. It just took all of the stress out and just made this a truly heavenly experience. Now, that stunning French you see that acts as the canvas for this beautiful bling, that is pink so and snow white. I can't get over how perfect this French turned out and the lines were extra crispy and it was given everything. I also love that this pink, this nude has almost like a dusty rose. It is just so gorgeous. And there's these tiny gold glitters. The shimmer is out of control. And I was a little bit worried that the shimmer of the polish was going to clash with the bling, but honey, it brought everything together and I can't get over how stunning this placement turned out. It's just giving me all of the queen vibes, regal AF. I can't thank you Melody Susie enough for sending over all of these goodies because this made the bling placement an absolute dream. Now I did go in with their detail liner and went all around and sealed in around the caviar beads and did a very luscious top coat to make sure that I sealed all of those gems in. So no matter if you were hitting your hand or partying it up, you were going to have none of these gorgeous stones falling out or leaving a little trail like Hansel and Gretel. Nay, nay, <laughs> you don't have to worry about any of that. I am just so madly in love with this glue formula and working with these Melody Susie gels was an absolute dream. If any of these colors touched your heart, then everything I used will be in the description box below. 
thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you in the next tutorial. Mwah!